just 20, Paris Saint-Germain's Brazilian centre-back Marquinhos is one of the brightest young talents in world football today. My interest in football started at home with my family. We started messing around with the ball, my brother, my cousin and I. As is the case with all young Brazilian kids, we were given a football as a present. I would be with my brother and my cousin, they would be playing together and I would join them. And that's where I got the instinct to play, and where I got the instinct to be a defender, to steal the ball from them. So that's how it happened. And then I started playing club football at youth level. The pitch was close to where I lived. Marquinhos spent his formative years with hometown club Corinthians, and international recognition came early for the defender, who captained his country at the FIFA Under-17 World Cup in 2011. Playing at a World Cup like that when I was just 17 years old was a very positive step for me. In that tournament we came fourth. We wanted to come back with the title, to come back with the cup. That would have been very important for me and for the team. But it's something positive to carry with me, because it's all good experience. I started to get recognised because I had a very good tournament. I played some good games over there. It was a great experience. I took a lot away from playing there. I have good memories of the World Cup. Following that under-17 tournament, Marquinhos broke into the Corinthians' first team, before moving to Europe and Roma in 2012. Another transfer followed a year later, as the Brazilian signed for Paris Saint-Germain for more than 30 million euros. Last season, as PSG won the league, he began to establish himself in the first team, playing alongside one of his heroes. From the moment I started playing football, I was looking for an idol. I was looking for someone to admire. I would say that the first one was Juan. He used to play at Roma, and he played for the Brazilian national team. He was the one who inspired me, together with Fabio Cannavaro. He was considered the best in the world after the 2006 World Cup. And after that, I really started to follow Thiago Silva, who for me is the best centre-back in the world at the moment. The young defender got his first taste of senior international football towards the end of 2013, making his debut in a friendly against Honduras. Although he failed to make Brazil's final 23-man squad and missed out on a FIFA World Cup on home soil, Marquinhos could be a big part of the Selecao's plans as they build towards the next FIFA World Cup in Russia. That was my dream. It started when I was playing with the youth teams, training, playing in the mud, playing on run-down pitches, to go from there to playing with the national team in a World Cup, and to have the possibility to win the World Cup, to play with the best players in the world. For me, that would be extraordinary. That's my biggest goal, and it's my biggest incentive to keep doing well.